now that we know how to plot points and graph lines on the Cartesian coordinate plane, let's take a look at two specific special types of lines, being horizontal and vertical lines. Horizontal lines, they run left to right, they have no angle, or as we'll come to know them later, slope. Equations of horizontal lines have a zero coefficient on the x term. Think about that for a moment. Zero times x, that's just zero. This means there is no x in the equation. As a result, these equations are simply written as y equals some number. y equals negative 2. y could be equal to 0. As our example here, y is equal to 4. So if I want to plot the points for this, I need to fill in a t-chart. I'm going to pick x values of negative 1, 0, and 1. Ideally, you could use any numbers you want to, remember. If I want to plug negative 1 in, let's... Wait a minute. There's no x value to plug it into. Hmm. Since there's no x variable, it doesn't matter what x is. y will always be equal to 4. So if I want negative 1, y is going to be 4. If I want to plug in 0, y is 4. If I want to plug in 1, and guess what? y is still 4. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be 4. So I can plot these three points. So let's go back 1, up 4. Go back 1, up 4. I could go over 0, up 4. I could go over 1, up 4. There's your three points. You can see how those would connect to form your line. Horizontal line. It's flat. Left to right. Vertical lines run top to bottom. That's up and down. And once again, they have no angle. No slope. Okay. Vertical lines are not written as y equals, but rather they're written as x equals. These equations are simply written as x equals some number. There's no y variable present. So for this one, x equals 4. The x value is 4. I can't plug in 2. x has to be 4. So for every single one of these, you get an input of 4. Since all values are 4, and no operations are taking place, the y values are irrelevant. That's why you don't see a y value in there. All y values will work. It doesn't matter what you pick for y. x will always be 4. So I could pick negative 2, 0, and 2, for instance. Plot those points. So let's go over 4, down 2. So from the origin, over 4, down 2, there would be a point right here. Over 4, up 0 and over 4 up 2. Those would be my three points. You can see you can connect those to get your line. Nice vertical line runs up and down. So vertical versus horizontal lines, the biggest thing is know the difference. Know when you have each. Vertical lines go up and down. They're written as x equals some number. Y, the x number does not change. Y can, but the x number doesn't change. You don't go left to right at all. It just goes straight up and down, vertical, like a tree. Horizontal lines run left to right. The equation is written y equals some number. The y value doesn't change, but x can. Think horizontal like the horizon. That's where they share the same root. Horizontal lines like the horizon, the flat, they run left to right. And that covers the concepts of vertical and horizontal lines.